All right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has stepped into the octagon. This time, he wants to leave with that championship belt. Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, Shane. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel, the black shorts, and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we look up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white top. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Tyson, despite being on the wrong end of the MMA experience equation, believes that he's got the oh! now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Oh, right into mouth. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Jones. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. He's got to be careful here. over three minutes to go in our first round. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, their fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling 
exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Right hand, yup. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. He's looking for the finish now. These guys are working. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Great ground and pound by this man. In the half guard. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Darce. Oh, my goodness. That Darce choke is very tight. Ooh, it is tight now. Jeez, Louise is tough. It looks like the dart choke is in. He's got it locked in now. What he's got to do is start to feed his hip, try to hook the leg so that his opponent can't roll his back. Ooh! He got out! Oh, he cleared his leg, got, got back got. to his back, and created some space between him and his opponent to stay out of that dart choke. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, Got, it got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the stage. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be... Good night, Irene. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. Well, clearly his leg is hurt, and now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Chip. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg damage. He's been beat up, but his opponent told us, he goes, this guy does not kick kicks very well. He does not do a good job of recognizing those types of attacks he's taking full advantage of. Stiff jab there from John Jones using his length to great effect. 84 inches the reach from John Jones. That's going to give him an advantage against most light heavyweights, if not heavyweights, on this UFC roster. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side hook. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Lead kick landed there by Jones. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. This is where he wants to be. Three minutes now to go in round two. He passes the half. Nice transition. Getting the ball here. Jones gets up, and somewhat surprisingly, despite having a dominant position on the ground, he wants to take this fight back to the feet. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Get the oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Wow, vicious uppercut. Man, has his chin been tested in. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. And now some knees. Oh, nice knees by him. Man, he does not discriminate. He is throwing to all parts of the target tonight. They talk about using all your weapons tonight. He is using those knees to slow down his opponent. Beautiful punch lands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Tyson. One minute to go, round two. Man, 
and take down defense one on one. Sometimes I watch this box. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Strong outside leg kick. Huh. Ten minutes in the can. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter. And oh, oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Jones gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Power shots continue to land. Try to establish that jab. Stayed up I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, that overhand, big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Jones gets the double leg takedown. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however... Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of this position. Jones' nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Nice move. Oh, that's a perfect punch shot there. He's going. I mean, that's unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Big knee there to the chest. There you go. There you go. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, nice. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Ah. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, back to the stools for 60 seconds. That gives us a chance to re-rack some replays, including what we believe is the strike that caused the cut on his nose. Yeah, beautiful strike that lands causes this cut, opens him up on the bridge of the nose. It's not a bad cut, but if he continues to go forward, his opponent is a sniper, and he's going to keep hitting him in that same spot. Move your head. Really 
choose the times in which you're going to advance to try to get to this guy. You got to be careful, though, because he is so good at picking his shots. And, of course, it's hard to know the extent to which that has compromised his breathing, but that corner was fired up. They want him to be more dis defensively sound as this fight continues. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Jones is in half court. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jones. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Two minutes to go. Oh, man, I'm so feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Reach advantage was his at the outset, and he was able to take advantage there with the punch. Well, a lot of fighters say there's no worse feeling on fight night than when Claudio abandons you, and there's been a lot of output in this fight, but both of these men are absolutely against. They both fought very hard, but after round one, you saw one guy's party on the good night, guys. And the second round, you saw the other guy. Good night, guys. Now they're left with no cardio, and there's going to be a question of will and determination. In the to what extent he can recover. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Hey! Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. He's able to connect with a beautiful jab. So maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not finally shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a big his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, you gotta like that as a two-time United States Olympian as he goes to the ankle pit to get the takedown. I mean, it speaks to the wrestling acumen. Just the ability to find any takedown available. What a beautiful ankle pit. That is it! Result here tonight by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, 
And then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 59 seconds of round number 5. To claim the winner by tap out, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! Well, you heard it there from Buff. Congratulations to John Jones, your winner tonight by submission. This is a man who has more than 10 decision wins in the UFC, so it's got to feel good for him to get back to his finishing ways tonight. Well, to get out there and get a finish. Jones is fighting the best fighters.